hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ernesta if today is your first time you're welcome and if you've been part of this family I just want to say thank you for watching my videos and God bless you if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel and be part of this family thumbs up for me and leave me comment as well and you know I will appreciate it I'm gonna go straight into this uh, video today yesterday we talked about relaxing yourself when you are pregnant you know just make sure you relax yourself and anything you kind of notice you like you feel anyhow just see your doctor or your gp and kind of discuss it with them and i kind of encourage you to kind of ask questions when you are there to see them or any question anything at all that comes to your mind kind of keep it and ask them or phone them and ask them so that your mind can be at peace because in pregnancy you need all the peace you can you need to be relaxed you need to be happy you need to kind of look after yourself eat well all these things will add to you having a you know a good um a good journey so do not stress yourself in any way because pregnancy is stress already anyway to stress you in, in the sense that when i mean it's stress not like stress 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 it is stress in the in the in in a way that you either be ill, you either will not be able to sleep well, you'll be uncomfortable, you'll be feeling sick, like vomiting, all kind of things will be happening. You'll be forget, you'll be forgetful. That word is like the other of the day, you'll be forget forgetful. And sometimes, you know, all kind of little, little things here and there. That's what I call stress. So it's not like all that stress, 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 stress. So all those things are there that you are dealing with. So anything that comes to your mind, try and ask questions. Ask questions and you'll feel better. That is where I am coming from. And yesterday we kind of talked about that. And today I'm going to go to like when I talked about from your three months to your six months, the how you should be very careful and sleep. You know, when you lie down, be comfortable. Don't kind of lie down that you put pressure or any part of your, you know, your you put a pressure in 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 any part from your waist and all these things so sleep very well because the, the danger in putting pressure you know the way you sleep is that you're going to be like pushing the baby or pressing the baby or pressing things in there and the more you press the more it's like it can affect your it can open your you see it, it can open the neck of the womb it can keep pushing until things will happen so be comfortable and make sure you're not pushing anything and that is why i say don't lift because when you lift you are kind of pushing things as well so anything you do that will push uh push uh, anything towards the neck of the womb i want you to kind of be careful with them that is why i say don't push don't lift don't sleep uncomfortably that you'll be pressing the baby and the baby will not be pushing you know be pushed to one side or push to push something so that it will not cause you um you know early birth as well like premature baby so and for some it's just natural and it's not because you've done anything wrong it's just that that is how it is for you in that pregnancy the fact that it happened in that pregnancy does not mean it will happen in another one but some they go from the first as well as the second as the third but some it happen first and it does not happen in the second one even the second one they will even go past their edd like if they're supposed to give birth they go one week or two weeks more before they give birth and some uh, even the third one they go past you know some the first one they go past and the second one they have it early so be very in every pregnancy be very very careful because they are all different they are not the same so you have to look after yourself as well as the baby too and i want you to know that everything you eat that you eat i think it's it's you have to eat good because the baby too is eating out of the things you are eating is consuming those things as well so eat well and the baby will be healthy like i said to you before folic acid you can take it till i think the, you are three months i'm not sure check with your gp but take your folic acid until you get pregnant and continue till you are into it yeah two or three months before you stop the folic acid so and i kind of find out that why you stop is that after three months is no longer good for the baby so please don't go past three months or is it two months check it out with your doctor like i always say i'm not a doctor neither do i have a medical qualification all this is you see me say is just research and then experiences you know so i'm sharing experiences that i get here and there with you guys and 
if there's anything happening out there i'll bring it to you so that i'm not bringing these things to alarm you or to you know kind of make you afraid of the journey no i'm kind of bringing it so that you know what you're doing for yourself like uh, when i was talking about um ivf the last time some people thought i was scaring people off uh, you know scaring them that the ivf is too is tough is this is that that i shouldn't have said it so that uh, i made i'm making people afraid of going into you know i'm not making you afraid of going into i want you to be prepared knowing that yes you know when you have um let's say you have uh, seven things and they tell you that thing is is seven and that no three and then you got that seven you know you are stronger than that thing. so you go in into ivf with your with your whole mind that you are going into succeed and then you hold on to god and kind of you know pray yourself through it and you know out of it as well with something good that is what i was doing not because i was trying to scare you that there's depression there's no 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 don't get me wrong when i mean that it's stressful what i mean is stressful is that there's stress there you should be prepared because if you are not prepared to face to kind of face some things and kind of work on some things by yourself you are going to go there thinking oh it's, it's just a walking and workout thing and you now find the way it is some breakdown from that uh, a thing so you know that everyone that has been through it they went through one thing or the other to get to where they want to get to so i'm not trying to scare anyone and today i'm going to talk about premature baby please i'm not scaring you and i'm not saying because you are pregnant you or before you want to pregnant you should be thinking of having your baby early no I'm, that is not what i'm doing and if you're in that situation already oh well and good don't panic it is well with your baby and god will protect you and protect the baby as well i want you to know that look if the baby is here things that you need to do or things that you don't need to do or how to put yourself trust me the kind of confusion that you have around that time when these things are happening you wish there's someone to tell you to kind of tap you and say wake up from that sleep is reality is you know go you know do this or do that but unfortunately there's no one to even tell you that kind of a thing and you know like if you've had experience and it's happening to others you'll be able to go and tap them and say no at this time do this or do that it's very good and if you had the experience before and you know other people are going through it please come up and tell them what to do don't keep it to yourself because they might be confused as well like you were when you went through it and that is the things i am bringing here so if you have if your baby uh, if you have your baby early when i mean early i'm talking about 20 24 weeks 25 weeks 26 anything from 24 weeks i kind of have seen that they survived and so many that i've seen that survived that are grown and they are living today they are there so i'm not going to say uh they, they will not survive they will survive depending on their weight and depending on the care they get they will survive and these days i even saw one 20 was is it 23 weeks survived but so, most times is that when they are too down this way like too early they survive with some complications as well and all these things but i've seen a 24 that survive survived and there's there's no complication there's nothing she's um i think she's about how many she is now how many years she is now i think about 11 or 12 years now she is and she's okay so it depends on the weight and depend on depends on where you had uh, the hospital or the clinic or the place and the care they gave to the baby i think those things depend on it but please try not to stress yourself around that four five six so that you can go far you know go far before you uh, to full time my own prayer is for you to go to full time and have your baby there you know anything after 37 is is perfect so uh is below 37 that they can say they are premature and especially below 30 is 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 a risky one so make sure that when you are pregnant and you're around that 24 be very careful push yourself well and carry yourself well and look after yourself where to go past 30 and 34 35 just keep going and don't uh, you know take things for granted and if your baby comes earlier than 30 please 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 it's so confusing and it's so so depressing and it's you know 
you will be all over the place i want you to know that you you should hold on to to the positive side that the baby will survive and whatever you can do i know for the first few hours you will not be able to do much you will not be able to the confusion will be so much that you will not be able to do much and this the, the pain the ang when i mean pain not like a pain that you can see you are feeling pain here and there i mean the pain the the, the pain of the baby coming at that time that you'll be going through the stress should i say the stress or the pain the anger or whatever the 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 worries okay the worries of the, knowing that the baby came so early will be there and that thing can just kind of take, occupy your mind that you will not think of what to do but as soon as you can dust yourself as early as you can dust yourself the better for you and then you can go there you can go to the neonata place neonata is where they keep the babies where the incubators are where they put the babies you know they take them straight from there and they take them to the neonata unit where they will put them in the incubator you kind of uh, kind of uh, continue with what you are supposed to have done as a mother you know staying in your womb they continue the 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 care there and put them in a warm place and kind of start giving them the care that they should have gotten from you naturally they start doing those things just to kind of push them to the weeks that they had they are missing and and some you know they go from we one week to two three four and they keep the song will go as far as till they are discharged and some will not go that far and some will go far and some will you know anything can happen at this minute i want you to kind of put yourself together if you are the praying type start praying start praying even if you when you cannot go there yet as it's happening start praying i know when there's confusion you will not remember all these things but i pray that people that will be around you will be able to tell you what to do i know with this video people think that why would i be praying for such things to happen i'm not praying for it to happen but i know they happen they happen and they need care as well they need care around that time they need people around them there and you might not be the one that if you watch this video and it's happening to someone you'll be able to know what to do with the person or tell the person to do or do on on behalf of that person you can pray for them you can be there for them you can encourage them you can you know kind of find little little things your words you know giving them the the words that they need to kind of come out of their confusion if you watch this video you should be able to do things like that and that is why i'm doing this video i'm not doing it because i want to scare anyone or i'm praying for anyone to have this kind of thing it's not something you you pray for someone to go through but all i know is that if you go through all these things and you come out with your baby strong and healthy at least at the end of the day you'll be glad that god has in kind of rescue you from the plan of the enemy and that is why i'm i'm doing this video so when you start when anything like that happen around you or to you bring yourself up out quickly on if it happens to someone you know help them to come out of that shock quickly and let them be begin to do what they are supposed to do things like you have to go into the uh neonatal place as long as you are strong enough to go in there you you go in there in 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 here they let you go in there and you can go there and sit for as long as sit down there for as long as you want you can talk to the baby you can play with, when i mean play i mean play like you can touch their hands you can kind of wig you know let them feel that there's someone here kind of trying to kind of interact with them you i know we feel they cannot hear they can hear you they can feel you they can smell you so go there sometimes when you go there you you are heartbroken because when you see how tiny when i mean tiny they are you cannot stand it the pain you cannot stand it looking at them like that and it depends on how many weeks they are if it is too small you may not be able to pick them up they will ne not let you pick them up and even you you will not even want to carry them because you'll be too scared of you know too scared that of looking at them like I don't know how to say it but if you're in that situation just brave brave yourself and if the nurses ask you to carry them carry them and hold them and kind of let them feel your heart beating again because that is what they, they kind of feel inside of you let them feel the, your heart beat and let them smell you and let them feel the warmth of your body is quite good and it's quite you know 
um good for them as well as you and as them as well so if they allow you to carry them because they are maybe close to 30 or 30 and whatever if they allow you to pick them up or they give them to you just kind of call to them when i mean call you know even you you will not be able to even call to them so much so let me know a good day because you'll be so scared that you're gonna break them because they are so 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 tiny so call to them and let them feel your heart beating let them feel the warmth of your body let them smell you again all those things are going to help them to kind of you know coming around and kind of progressing in their journey and before you go back some sleep there some will sit down there and sleep there and some will go have a bit of sleep and come back and kind of check them just keep going and making sure that they are they, they know that you are coming and going and you are touching them you are kind of making them feel the warmth of your body and is smelling you you know pass your hand through them and 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 stuff like that don't stop doing those things it, it might be stressful but i tell you if that is all you do to walk out of there with your babies it is worth it so i know you'll be tired i know you'll be you'll be stressed as well but whatever it is just keep asking god for strength for you to go in there and kind of you know touch the babies and kind of bring them to life this video is going too much that's why i'm peeping i'm going to stop here and then we're going to continue in the next video so please 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 do not stay away because the the tendency for you not to even see them at all you don't want to see them the way they are is there so go and see them go and be with them it will do them a lot of good i'm going to stop here and we'll continue from the next video as we go by god's grace take care and god bless bye